Hey family, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Well, today I have another crock pot chronicle for you guys. This recipe is so very simple and y'all, so delicious. If you are a beef fan, if you like pot roast of any type, you will love this recipe. And the best thing about it is it is truly a dump and go menu, not menu, recipe. <laughs> it is a dump and go recipe, only five ingredients. And y'all, when I tell y'all it packs some flavor, it really, really packs some flavor. So if you want to see my latest crock pot creation, you know, just stay tuned okay so for this recipe you'll need one package of hidden valley ranch one packet of the lipton onion soup mix a stick of butter yes a stick of butter you will need a three to four pound chuck roast and you will need the pepperoncini peppers, if that makes sense. Hopefully you know what those are. They're also known as Greek peppers. They are a very mild pepper, but they will pack a lot of flavor in your pot roast. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sear your roast. Uh, this is a step that you definitely don't want to avoid because just browning it for a couple of minutes on each side will help to add even more flavor to it. If you do not have a um, Ninja Foodie like I'm using here, you can sear the meat on the stove and then transfer it onto your crock pot. But you definitely don't want to skip this step, okay? It literally takes two to three minutes on each side. Now, this is a Mississippi or Southern pot roast. So many of you guys are familiar with that recipe that, that calls for the peppers and the ranch packet. So it is so simple, you guys, and yet so very yummy. And here I'm just adding a little salt and a little pepper. Not very much. I, I don't salt a whole lot of our food because I, I don't want high blood pressure. <laughs> no, this is not a healthy wet recipe because it has a stick of butter in it, but I do try to limit the salt. And plus, you can always add salt, but once it's cooked, you cannot take the salt away. So you wanna sprinkle a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on your beef. It really does make a difference. And then what you want to do is you want to turn that meat over, of course, after about a couple of minutes. Now, this one was trying to give me a hard time. It didn't want to turn, but once it did, do you guys see the beautiful brown char on this meat? I mean, do I even have to tell you guys how great it smelled while it was cooking? You guys, I am thoroughly enjoying my Ninja Foodie. It is definitely a game changer. So now I'm gonna add that one packet of Ranch Hidden Valley Seasoning. To that, I'm going to add one packet of the Lipton Onion Soup Mix. And then, yes friends, Yes, I'm going to add one whole stick of butter. Not margarine, not, I cannot believe it's not butter. 
it is just one stick of salted butter once again i did not say it was low fat i did not say it was healthy but it is delicious so if you are watching your weight this would be a great cheat meal because butter make it taste better butter make it taste better <laughs> And then last but certainly not least, you want to add peppers. Now, these peppers are mild in my opinion. Now, if you are super sensitive to spice, then you may want to only add a couple of peppers. We like a little hit of, we, we like a little kick in this family. So I did add several peppers. Again, my tolerance for heat is high. If yours is extremely low, then you probably only want to add a few, but I would definitely just add a few. It really does make a difference. And you want to put it on the side of the roast as well as on top of the roast. And friends, when I tell y'all that's all y'all have to put in there, set your slow cooker on, on low, I'm sorry, for eight hours. Yes, slow and low, slow and low. And halfway through your house is going to smell amazing okay so that's it when i tell you it's dump and go i mean it is dump and go and look at how it looks after eight hours do i even need to tell you guys youtube needs to have smell o vision because this roast right here I could not wait. I mean, my mouth was watering as I was just looking at it. And as you guys can see, it is so tender. It's like that stick of butter that I put on top of it. Melt in your mouth. Delicious. And you guys, all I did was make some mashed potatoes and some green beans. And we were ready for dinner. And it was amazing. So you definitely want to try this recipe. It was so easy. I did not open the crock pot one time in those eight hours. I just let it do its thing and my family loved it. So hopefully you will add this to your rotation in your crock pot meals. If you are new here, my name is Felicia, also known as Miss Fee Marie. I would love to have you stay, subscribe, and become a member of the Fee Marie family. And to the family, hey y'all, hey. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video and I will see all of you in my next one. Bye guys.